When you're working with your rifle and the charging handle, I want everybody to know that once you return this charging handle forward, you need to ensure all the time that you lock it in place. This is a thin aluminum channel. It's one of the weakest parts of the rifle. If it's not locked in place, it can float the full travel. That's problem number one. Problem number two is if it gets struck with a sideways blow, which is not designed to take, it's gonna break and your gun's gonna be shut down. Mountain Man Medical has comprehensive but compact trauma kits with name brand quality components. They also have discounts available for firearms instructors, teachers, veterans, and others. Please go check them out at get-asp.com slash mountain man and thank them for sponsoring today's video. So first of all, I'd like everyone to move with their firearm to retention position. So guys, you're gonna take your rifle, you're gonna tuck the buttstock right underneath the gun, muzzle flat to the ground, pointed generally at the target. So you'll just grab onto it, grab onto the fire controls, boom, uh, yep, perfect. Awesome, there you go, cool. And that support hand can come right off. So this will be flat down to the ground. Let me see what you got going here. Yeah, take this arm out. Now try it. All right, yeah. yeah. There you go. Take this arm out. Awesome. Boom. There Boom. you go. Cool. All right, so I'd like everybody to focus in on this. This is a safety procedure, right? And so because it's a safety procedure, I would like you to follow me with this step by step, bit by bit. That way we make sure it gets done. If you move ahead and then get distracted, you may skip a step, right? So let's all focus in on that. So Max, tuck this into retention, so that'll be right there like that. Go ahead and lock your bolt to the rear. You guys already have your bolt locked to the rear. Correct. You do that by pulling this back, pushing in here. Always make sure that's latched, okay? So Max, always make sure that's latched, all right? Remove your chamber flag and stow it. Don't have one. Press the magazine release. Remove a magazine if there's a magazine in your gun. Rack the bolt several times. So now you're going to grab onto that handle and you're just going to run it back and forth several times. Lock the bolt to the rear. Awesome. And remember, latch this in. That's part of your procedure all the way in. Gotcha, so it's a really weak part of the gun. Okay. If it's out and sure. gets whacked, broken. Totally. Yep, awesome. cool. Like that. I would like you to visually and physically Inspect the chamber and the magazine well of your rifle to ensure that it is unloaded. Look away. Distract yourself. I like to think about my special lady. All those special things. Come back to it. Visually and physically inspect the chamber again. Step over to a partner. Just shuffle side to side and do a partner check. So you guys are going to check each other's visual and physical. We want this to work at night just like it would in the daytime. <laughs> Once you are satisfied the gun is unloaded, insert the chamber flag down through the ejection port and into the magazine well. I'm not certain how to do this. You got it. Just thread right down in. Cool. Pretty simple. Yep. Okay. Using the charging handle, ease the bolt forward. Front sling. Down range. When you're working with your rifle and the charging handle, I want everybody to know that once you return this charging handle forward, you need to ensure all the time that you lock it in place. This is a thin aluminum channel. It's one of the weakest parts of the rifle. If it's not locked in place, it can float the full travel. That's problem number one. Problem number two is if it gets struck with a sideways blow, which is not designed to take, it's gonna break and your gun's gonna be shut down. Also, if it's floating, now it interferes with bolt travel and can, and can impact how the bolt moves and cause malfunctions. So make sure that that charging handle is always locked in place. Make sense to everybody? Cool. All right, guys, we're gonna run through these positions. Right now, everyone on target. So guys, you're just gonna bring the rifle up, 
look through the optic at that number six in the center, that's on target. Retention. You guys know retention. You're gonna drive the gun forward and then tuck that stock underneath your armpit. Boom, and your support hand comes off the gun. So retention, okay. keep that fire. This hand stays on, on. this one comes off. Okay, it's awesome. retention, cool. Awesome. On target, retention. On target, retention. And I would make sure this is tucked all the way underneath your armpit. Yeah, and that way it helps to support the mass of the gun. On target. Low, ready. You're simply going to depress the muzzle of the gun, probably at about the target stand level, the base of the target stand. We can use our light to illuminate what we illuminate. We can use lasers, etc. On target. Low, ready. On target. Not quite so low, Matt. Right down at that sandbag. Low, ready. On target. High ready. We're going to tuck the muzzle underneath our armpit. I'm sorry, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that. We're going to tuck the buttstock underneath our armpit, and the muzzle of the gun is going to be elevated slightly. Those were butt words. That's what those were. Those were butt words. The muzzle will be elevated slightly, and this will allow us to be able to use our light to illuminate from the ceiling. And this is the ready position, not the carry position, Sean, good. So this is our high ready position, looking over the top of the muzzle of the rifle. Remember that elevation depends on where you need the light to be and how far your target is away or your threat is away. On target, high ready. on target let's go to high carry we'll follow what sean wanted us to do high carry we are going to point the gun straight up in the air our optic is going to be about at the level of our shoulder we're going to take our support hand off of the gun this allows us to be able to move around if there's threats that are down low excuse me innocents that are down low etc we can move around without pointing a gun at them remember the muzzle needs to be dead set vertical straight up and down so if it's leaning uh, there you go darren that's better I'm here i can't index you're saying no, i can't you My can't get your got, i've got a thing called smith's arm and it's a elbow thing i can't retract elbow. why do they call it smith's arm smith's like the Black most smith. common name Black and this smith's is an arm, uncommon yeah. thing it's a hammer swing problem with right. the elbow what are you swinging a hammer for blacksmithing if i had a hammer i already sang that didn't i yeah. <laughs> cool do the best you can with it you good yep. on target <laughs> max just up, made it up <laughs> go ahead and look it up high carry on target high carry on target Low carry. When we go to low carry, we're going to have the muzzle straight up and down. We want to make sure that the gun is straight up and down, front to back and side to side. You can keep your support hand on the gun, but just want to be straight up and down. On target. Low carry. On target. Low carry. On target front sling all right guys what we're going to do is we're going to come down to the low carry position okay. all right you're going to go ahead and you're going to swim your support arm through your sling you're going to rotate the rifle so that the magazine and the grip are facing to the left so you're going to go the other way oh, based gotcha. on your sling okay and you simply lay the rifle down that way the fire controls the safety yep. are away from the body gotcha. okay 